course. Well, got another video review for you today. This one here is pretty much just something that I made. I put a bunch of parts together and made my own portable power station, basically. And so when I set out to make this, I wanted something to where I could, you know, have some room to expand. And my goal was to be able to run at least two to three 200 amp hour batteries. So I've only got one down there right now, but I could expand the bottom of this card out and uh, I could add uh, up to two more batteries. So that's what I wanted uh, from this, from the get go was to be able to have a lot of battery capacity and be able to run up to 2000 watts was right where I wanted to be because my, my way of thinking was, you know, just for, you know, cutting down on your electric bill, I could run a window unit and that's what I've been doing all summer long is, uh, you know, I've been running a window unit uh, off this inverter. And in fact, I've been running a 12,000 BTU unit Medea inverter air conditioner uh, every afternoon. I turn it on and it helps cool the house down and it actually has lowered my electric bill to where I'm under $100 a month, and which is crazy. You know, several months, uh, my electric bill is like $70, $80. So that was pretty impressive. So it's been able to save me some money on the electric bill, but I also wanted to have it in case of an emergency power outage or, or you know, just whatever. And so uh, I wanted to have something where, you know, if I needed to, I could plug in my refrigerator uh, into this unit. And then I, I could also run a TV at the same time, you know, uh, uh, just by plugging it in th into this uh, 2000 watt Samlex inverter. Uh, if you're interested in this inverter, I'm, I've got a full uh, video review on it, telling all about it. But, uh, you know, as far as uh, this whole system together, I got to say everything has just worked flawless. And, you know, I'll run through uh, some of the, the stuff that I've done and uh, I'll try to do it as quick as possible. Now, the cart, uh, it come from Harbor Freight. It's one of the, their Franklin foldable carts. It's made out of aluminum, so it is light. And like I said here on the bottom, this little shelf area pulls out. Show you guys. There you go. You can see how it expands. But uh, yeah, you can easily get a third one on there if you want run a strap around all three. So that, that gives you, uh, you know, quite a bit of uh, batteries to for this system. So you got a, a nice amount of capacity. We'll start here at the the battery. This here is the Redoto 200 amp hour battery. It is their plus model. You can see uh, right there it says plus. This is the one with the 200 amp BMS. So I like that because it is heavier duty than their, their other model that has I believe the 100 uh, amp BMS. And then as far as the wiring goes, that's from a company called New Concepts. It is a one off uh, wire and I used it for all the the major heavier thick wires. The reason why I use that is because it is oxygen free copper wire and it has like over 5,140 something strands of copper wire uh, per per uh, wire. So it's very flexible and so that's why I have used that wiring. And then as far as the fuse holder, uh, the reason I chose this one is because, let's say you're out in your garage or something and you accidentally knock over a gas can or something like that. Well, everybody knows that fumes are, you know, really heavy and they hang out real close to the ground. So the reason I chose that fuse block is because it has an O-ring in it and it's completely sealed up. So if there w was to be a spark or something or that fuse was to blow, it's not going to blow you up and that is from a company called Blue Sea Systems. And then coming up right here, this is a disconnect switch from Blue Sea Systems. Uh, I found a bunch of these on clearance at Walmart. I paid $9 a piece for them, and I bought probably 20 of them. And uh, they're $30 online, but uh, I've gotta say, I've had no problems out of, out of this at all. And it, again, it is a blue C system. And then coming on up on the negative side right there, you can see that is a Victron Smart Shunt. Uh, that is probably the one uh, product on this whole system that I, I wish I hadn't paid $130 for. Uh, I found another one from another company 
Uh, I'll explain it coming up in a, a future video, but if you're in the market for a, the smart shunt, I would hold, it, hold out until you see my, my new video uh, because I found one that's about half the price and it works just as good. On this side, I've got a resettable 40, 40 amp circuit breaker. I'm sorry, 50 amp circuit breaker. This goes up to the uh, Bouge RV 40 amp charge controller. Again, this here is the Samlex uh, power inverter. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn the cart around because I'm gonna show you what's here on the back. I know there's some wiring in the way, but you can see that I've mounted two fans here on the back. And the reason I mounted the two fans is because I have some holes cut out on the other side. So I'm gonna show you behind the inverter and you'll see that, you know, I have cut a hole in the half inch piece of plywood and so I could mount the fan here on the back. And the reason I cut that hole in there is so that the fan could blow on these heat sinks on the back of that charge controller and keep it nice and cool. Let's say I had to use it in an emergency outside to you know, power some power tools or something and it's a 100 degree day, I didn't want my inverter or the charge controller to get too hot. You know, if you can keep these components nice and cool, then they'll last you longer. Another trick that I did was I mounted the charge controller and the power inverter on these strips of wood and I raised it up higher. So that way there's some air flow between the back of the, the charge controller and the power inverter. And plus, you know, you've got the fans there if you need it. But I gotta say, uh, I have not had to use the fans because I've run it inside and it's temperature controlled in here. The way that I power these fans is I didn't show you. There's a wire right here. And what this is, is just a NOCO brand uh, cigarette lighter plug. And I just take it and I run it out the back. And you can see right there, there's the plug. And then I plug it in just like that. Turn the fans on. You can hear them, they're really quiet. These are from a company called AC Infinity. They're like $15, $16 for, for both of them and they're hooked together. And it also provides you with an extra USB outlet. You can have a little switch right here where it's on high, medium and low and off. Then right in here, I took and I found these bulbs online. This is from a company called VT Power and these bulbs just run on a USB port. They only use five watts of power, but you see they are super, super bright. I can turn all the lights off in this bedroom and it lights the whole bedroom up. We tested it the other night and it's, it's pretty amazing. So what I do is just take, leave this hanging right there and if an emergency comes, all I do is just flip the switch, turn it on and off, and you're good to go. Plus, I've got some extra outlets back here where I can charge your phone and uh, charge some smaller de devices. All right, so if you're wondering, how many solar panels do you need to charge that 200 amp hour battery? Well, that's a good question because, you know, on a perfect day, you could charge it with 800 watts of solar panels. You know, if it's perfect conditions, completely sunny, and, and all that. But on just a normal day where, you know, you're gonna get some clouds, you know, and you know, it might rain or something like that, uh, it, it can take a lot longer. Right now, I have four 200 watt solar panels from Alarska. I'll put a link for them in the description if you're interested in them. Um, but, you know, it takes about a full day uh, with perfect conditions to charge this 200 amp hour battery. And so, uh, you know, if you're having a cloudy day or whatever, it might take two or three days to charge. Most people don't realize that about solar, that it can take several days. You know, if you don't have enough extra solar panels to account for, you know, the clouds and bad weather and all that kind of stuff, you know, you might be stuck without a way to, to charge up your solar system. And, you know, uh, I went ahead and kind of prevented myself from ever being in a situation where I don't have a way to charge my batteries. I ended up getting an ALP generator. This is like an 
850 running watt propane generator. It enables me to run a lot of smaller stuff to charge cell phones and things like that. But the main thing that it allows me to do is let's say, you know, I've had a week of bad weather. I can plug that in to this Redodo battery charger. And this one here is a 40 amp battery charger. I'm able to hook this up to the, the 200 amp hour battery down there and it charges no problem. In fact, this thing put, uses about 584 watts. And if you're interested in seeing this, uh, working with that to charge this battery down here, I've got a video, check it out. So I hope this video helped you guys out and answered some of your questions and, and showed you how I built my, my portable power station and uh, maybe to encourage you to build your own. It's very simple to do. Uh, this here is just a 12 volt system. It's a pretty small system. It's nothing really elaborate, but it does exactly what I needed to do. And you know, if you're wondering how long can you run your that 12,000 BT unit air conditioner on this system right here? Well, that Medea U-shaped air conditioner is what I've been running. And you know, depends on uh, the day and how, how hot it is. You know, if it's if it's not real hot and the sun's not beating down on the unit, it's going to use less wattage. Now, if it's really hot, I've seen it surge up to like 1130 something watts and I've seen it down to like four or 500 watts. So I have been able to run uh, the Medea 12,000 BT unit air conditioner with this system right here for five hours and 30 something minutes. So it's a pretty impressive uh, system to be as small as it is. And you know, I like the fact that it's portable. I can move it around the house or move it around the shop or just wherever. Now you can't take it outside because the casters don't roll good outside. But you know, if you want, want something to use here in the house or in the garage, this is perfect. Appreciate you guys watching the video. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and any of these products, they'll be in the description down below. So if you wanna get them on Amazon, you can. Uh, I am an Amazon affiliate, so whatever you buy there, It'll, uh, if you buy it through my link, it'll give me just a little bit of a commission to help keep me motivated making these videos. Anyways, thanks for watching.